Hey, welcome back, man. Here is a new project we're gonna bring you up to speed on. Uh, since this whole YouTube thing we started is new, uh, we're gonna pitch in a bunch of our projects that we've already started on or we've got started. And, and now, uh, today I'm gonna tell you about this Datsun. Uh, it's got a uh, turboed four-cylinder Nissan motor in it. It's body dropped. Um, uh, I was hit up online uh, by a guy named Daniel and uh, this guy that owns the truck here. And, and what we did is, uh, I guess he had another shop and another shop and nothing was getting done on it. And he was patient enough to wait for a waiting list to get in and now he's in and he's on the hot seat. So um, I'm just gonna give you an overview of what we're doing to it. It kind of came as a project in a bunch of boxes. A lot of stuff was done. A lot of it was good. Some of it was questionable. I'm not talking shit, just the way it is. So what we did is shave the rain gutters, um, put all new floor structure in, put the new floor in. Um, we did redid the whole back half. Um, it was pretty much designed to fail. So we redid it, did a wishbone. We're gonna put air lift in it. Um, two tanks, or one tank, two compressors. Uh, redo the exhaust. We're redoing the whole bed. The bed was in really, really bad shape. It had a lot of oil canning. Um, a lot of, uh, these trucks used to have little hooks on them for like camper specials. Somebody cut the hooks off and just fill it with Bondo. So we're gonna clean all that out and weld all those up. Uh, we shaved the gas door. We're gonna do custom taillights and exhaust in it. Uh, the whole bed will be nice and smooth, all welded shut, wood bed floor, and then sheet metal bed all the way around the inside of it. Well, here's a rendering. It looks sick. It's kind of cool because the customer can see what the truck's gonna look like and we kind of have a floor plan. So now let me take you back in time to show you what we did to get to this step. All right, today we are going to make this back window a large back window. So we're gonna drop it down to here. I enlisted Peter here, my man. Anyways, he came down to help out and uh, do some sheet metal work and uh, help with this cab and the bed and all this stuff and uh, whatever we got going on. So anyways, he's going to, right now we're gonna take the back window out, cut it down, lower the back window so we got the big back window. It's, uh, I don't know, something that a lot of people don't do and I, I kind of like that, so. I think it'll look cool. Just something a little bit different, but not too crazy. Yeah. When you park next to a guy with the same truck, they're like, what? <laughs> so right now we're gonna take the back window out with a hammer. No? Oh. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so the rubber in this window is like super brittle. I already just did that little bit of a corner and it already wants to push out, so. Okay. And this shit just peels off. The rubber's so fucking old. I like how we're being super careful to take out this back window, even though we're gonna throw it away. <laughs> well, this is where we're gonna let him get down. He's gonna do a bunch of measuring and taping and cutting and grinding and all that stuff. So, uh, time lapse. Here we go. So today we came to Marina Valley High School to uh, speak to some kids about welding. Uh, super excited to be here. I love giving back. Uh, I love helping the kids out. And they asked me to come down and kind of speak to the guys and, and hopefully their welding careers will take them in the path they want to go. So let's go meet Adam and his dad. And his innovations, he's been in every trucking magazine you can have, even imagine. Let's welcome Jeff, guys. Uh, 
it's pretty cool and pretty humbling at the same experience. Uh, we had nothing else to do. I was into sports and this, that, and then I was into, into trucks and cars, and every day I came home, something else would be done on my truck, and a little bit lower, or this or that, and you know, I'd get ridiculed by my dad, like, what are you doing? You know, you need to get back in school and be a lawyer and a doctor and all that stuff, and I'm like, it's not for me, man. I'm a, I'm a hands-on guy. It's kind of like Adam said, you can grab something and then copy it or duplicate it or try to make it better, and that's, that's what we do every day, you know, problem solving, uh, figuring out stuff. So I'm just a glorified welder though. You know what I mean? In an upcoming episode, you're actually going to see us build the 66 Lincoln. Uh, it's got a lot of cool ideas going already. Uh, we're doing a coyote swap, uh, full air ride suspension, wheels, tires. Obviously you can see we're stripping it down to bare metal, but we have an issue. Our issue is we don't have a name for it yet. So why don't you comment down below and let's try to pick a cool name for it and uh, you can watch the progress as we do it. Guess what's in this box? <laughs> well, I'm gonna show you right now. I'm super excited. This is for our uh, 66 project. <laughs> Good thing Jace isn't here right now. This, this box would be like the perfect mansion. <laughs> Are you ready? There she is. This is a brand spanking new 5.0 Ford Coyote motor, which is what comes in the Mustangs. It's about 435 horse. It's getting paired with a 10 speed automatic transmission. That's right, 10 speed. So this thing is gonna be amazing. As we progress on this project, you'll get to see us make all that stuff and put it all together. I just wanna give you a little glimpse of this coolness. Nothing beats a brand new motor. Well, we brought the truck out here to the body shop. They're gonna finish stripping the roof, the back of the cab, and a few of the bigger parts. That way, uh, next week, we can get on shaving the cowl and a few other things. Uh, just wanted to uh, say thank you for tuning in. And uh, well, next week, we're gonna start on the Godfather. And if you guys don't know what the Godfather is, you're in for a real treat. This is a twin turbo Lincoln. It's probably one of the fattest builds we have here. And uh, I'm super excited about it. So wait till next week, we're gonna start the Godfather. <laughs> See you then. Thank you.